Hi and welcome to the show, the RGL Forza Championships. This is round one, race one for the V8 Supercars, coming to you from the Bernays Alps Stadplatz reverse track. Uh, a bit of a loop in one, uh, flowing track with very fast turns. And let's check out the awesome uh, qualifying session here. Elsimo putting down the times in practice and uh, delivered again. And look at that, there's only three hundredths of a second separating him and Relentless, the speed demons of the pack. Pistol fit for Champion Motorsport coming in under the 125 mark. Eskimo Sammy Joe, a bit disappointed, had a bit of issues during qualifying, but uh, still got in fourth spot, second row of the grid. Blogsy 360 and Rob 360 take uh, the third row, while Zulu and Dedex uh, hit it out from seventh and eighth. Golden Angel AU coming in ninth, and Ollie 9394 for Movie Madness Racing in tenth. Beshi uh, unfortunately couldn't make it to this round and as we mentioned earlier McSquizza for the RS 200s had connection issues so we lost two players for this race so let's get underway the V8 supercars are back and this should promise to be a pretty awesome race let's hope we've got a clean start here a uh, beautiful track great scenery and some really awesome camera angles coming up for you guys and they've all got through this very fast corner pretty clean by the look of it a lot of tyres screeching in that. We've got Eskimo Sammy Joe with his partner in crime right behind him there. And they head down the hill and approaching the bridge. And I believe we've got the Speed Demons right out in front already. So it'll be interesting to see whether anyone can actually keep up with Relentless and Elsimo. If anyone's going to do it, I would, I would put my money on Eskimo Sammy Joe and potentially Rob360 to maintain some sort of gap and also probably Blogsy. But they head up the hill now and just sort of tracking Zulu here for Movie Madness Racing in his Commodore. And he's got a black stripe on there, I should mention that's uh, in honour of Jason Richards. Um, unfortunately he passed away in recent times so just a bit of a honouring of his uh, passing away. So uh, when you see the livery next round that black strip that goes down the front, the middle front of the bonnet won't be there. So just about to complete the first lap of the race and looks like it's getting a bit of close contact there with Zulu and Golden Angel but uh, everything's pretty clean and they cross the line at the moment pretty much neck and neck. Back out to the uh, middle of the pack and we've got Eskimo Sammy Joe just following him and Blogsy360 has fallen off the back a little bit and uh, they're just trying to maintain some sort of gap between them and uh, Relentless and Elsimo who's sort of rocking it out in front and behind them we've got Pistol Fit and Rob360 so these four are um, sticking together bit of a battle pack going on here and Rob360 looking for a way past Pistol Fit there it seemed and about to head back up the hills now and just jumping him out to the front here so on board with the race leader in Elsimo and Relentless and you can see there's a pretty big gap back to the 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th positions. So this will be a great uh, race to watch, see these two going at it. Uh, I think you know to get a 122 with these cars it's just almost perfect laps, uh, 123s. Just around the very tricky last corner, everybody um, had mentioned that they had trouble trouble dealing with the chicane here but these two seem to have got it right and uh, what will be um, a, I need to note out is the uh, pit entry is also very difficult to nail so there will not be surprised if there's quite a few pit infringements given to drivers because it's very tricky to find those blend lines. But anyway back into the action here and Elsimo is just uh, managing to keep a good gap on Relentless for Technical Performance Racing and uh, at a actually seemed at one point there in the practice that no one was going to get close to Elsimo when he hit the 122s but then Relentless came back and I think he managed to actually get a faster lap in practice but just couldn't bring it on the qualifying stage and he is uh, holding on, we've just got a replay here and it's just between Ollie and that, this is just at the end of the first lap oh a bit of contact and Deadex has gone into the wall and Ollie's moved forward, he seemed to be the better one of that, so he might uh, enjoy a few points given to him from the stewards, perhaps from that little bit of contact. Can't exactly 
knock a guy on the wall and pass and 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 then just let it go. So anyway, that that's probably our only incident so far, which is great considering how fast these cars are and um, the trickiness of this track because it's fast and high speed. So you know, relentless. Probably falling back a little bit here. Just going to jump back a, a bit in the pack here. And it looks like Golden Angels uh, actually moved up. Oh, yep, Rob360 has actually managed to get ahead of Pistol Fit. And Golden Angels starting to put in some good lap times. And I believe Zulu's just gone in the pit lane as well. And just in the background, Ollie9394 also pits with Dedex staying on track here. He'll just pass the camera there. And Pistol Fit exits. So one of the first to pit from the front runners, and oh actually, sorry, Blogsy must have pitted as well, and he's managed to um, stay ahead of Pistol Fit there. So I think the battle will be between Pistol Fit and Rob 360 as far as track placing at the end of the pit. And back in, back to the front with the leaders with lap four of seven, and Relentless is still hanging on to the back of El Samo, still within striking distance if El Samo is to make. Uh, just one mistake, just step the uh, his Ford Falcon out a little bit and lose some momentum. Relentless will be right there to swoop on any opportunity there is. So uh, let's just see who's going to blink first out of these two. Who's going to pit? And nope, no one pitting yet. So continuing on, right at lap five. So they're going to have to pit either this lap or the next one. So we'll see whether it's going to be a See so they both pit at the same time. I dare say if Elsimo pits first, Relentless will stay out one more lap and then try and pass him by uh, getting some good in and out lap times. So some pretty intense racing, although the gap's a little bit on the larger side. The, I'm sure these guys are really feeling the pressure here to um, keep the lap times up, uh, keep one at bay and to uh, try and hunt the other one out. Just uh, going back a bit here, we've got Zulu for Movie Madness Racing, sort of out on his uh, lonesome by the look of it. And I think he, as far as uh, his position goes, the next close to him is Golden Angel after the uh, pit stops are finished. So there's uh, a few murmurs of uh, Zulu potentially retire at the end of this season. Um, be able to confirm that probably a little bit later on down the track, but uh, he's obviously hoping to put in um, some decent efforts for Movie Madness Racing for for both the V8s and the RSs. And just going across the bridge here, so he he did admit he didn't have that much time to practice it down. Got uh, Elsimo pit in, that was a very, very neat um, pit entry, very quick too. Um, so that could be a uh, telling factor here when uh, Relentless does his pit stop. He's obviously gone on and um, done another lap. And we've also got, I believe, Eskimo Semi Joe pitting, and he's followed by Rob360. So everyone will have pitted except for Relentless. So he'll be the last one. And hopefully we'll get back on track with him and see where, they, where he comes out as opposed to Elsimo. So again, Champion Motorsport making a huge debut in the RGL Forza Championship Series uh, with the RS 200s. Also, we got a first and a second, and now looking potentially at another win in the V8 Supercars. So very awesome debut here. It would have been interesting to see what would have happened had Beshi been able to make it, and also McSquizzer because he was also a very fast uh, V8 Supercar driver. A lot better with those than the RS 200s. I'm sure he'd admit that. So just coming, coming around the uh, bottom sweeper, uh, heading up the hill. Now we're onto Relentless here, who's just about to come around the pit. So see how quickly you can get around there. So yeah, I, th I would, I would actually say that uh, LCMO had a quicker um, entry into the pit lane, and it could have been an extra second there that could make a difference. So Relentless will be urging his pit crew to get him out there as quickly as possible. He's released. Do we see Elsimo? There's Elsimo there in the background so I think he's gonna swamp uh, Relentless here as he exits the pit lane. There he goes. And that's still pretty close stuff but Elsimo uh, obviously 
got some really good times going into the pit lane and out while Relentless was uh, heading around and with just this final lap to go uh, it would take an incident or a big mistake on Elsimo's part to uh, lose this and given how well they've raced the entire six and a half laps so far I can't see that happening and stand around the bridge for the last time down into the bottom sweeper before they head up the hill so another great drive here from the Champion Motorsport uh, driver and Relentless for Technic Performance Racing has done a really great job here just trying to keep on the back of El Simone he'll, he'll be looking forward to another crack at this in the second race hopefully to improve on, on his performance here and I can see the battle between these two throughout the series heating up and uh, I could see some really awesome uh, racing between these two guys they are at least on this track miles ahead of the, uh, the rest of them I believe they're about one and a half seconds fast from most laps. So Elsimo takes out race one, followed by Relentless in second position. Eskimo Sammy Joe has put in a very solid performance to finish on the podium with a third placing for Start Your Bastard Racing. And he is followed by, I believe, Blogsy 360 in fourth. Pistol Fit managed to finish fifth, so something must happen with Rob because he's coming in six so he might have had a bad lap and look at this, this is a really close finish here between Golden Angel and Zulu who's going to win this that is very close but Golden Angel just pips him at the uh, finish line I believe there was less than three hundredths of a second no less than 0 .08 hundredths of a second between the two of them in the end and Dead X finishes in eighth correction sorry ninth and Ollie takes out tenth position that is race one. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in race two for the V8 Supercar Series.